Toronto Condo Market Review for King West, Queen West, and the downtown. Hello everyone, Yossi Kaplan here, Search Realty AJ Mortgage Broker, and today we're going to review what's for sale in downtown Toronto, King West, and King West. Okay, let's start. Um, it's Corona time, so condocorona.com, my friends and I put this list, you can get the updates, there's the video. Um, they tell you here, the government of Canada tell you to stock food, and you can get updates here. So just hit this link. It's going to take you to the Dropbox. You don't need to sign in. It just works. Okay. And there's the file. There's, there's a, that's my list. And it's my friend's list. Uh, make your own list. Go shopping today right now. Okay. UrbanRealtyToronto.com. Yossi Kaplan. That's a newsletter, email name, mobile. And you get all the news, the fit to print, some assignments here, some investing, some videos, some how-tos, lots of information master plan community um what i did today is i went to one of my sites strongcomsforsale.com i went to the menu then the listings then the residential search and here you can search by neighborhood so let's explore this so i'm just going to put uh queen west it says west queen west but you go like this this is actually it's correct west queen west is correct because it's west of uh queen west used to be between university and spadina Anything west of Spadina is literally West King Queen West. So there you go. It's probably going to be even west of there. So we're zooming in. Okay, very good. It gives us. It gives us. Uh, it basically does a search by postal code or something like that. Price range. Okay, property type. Let's just zoom on the condos and just the sales. Okay, here we are. So what do I got here? Uh, it's going as it's. It's starting in Bathurst. A little bit here too but we're really interested in the triangle here west queen west triangle so let's see what they got um this is 915 king king that's the massey harris building it's a beautiful old building 949 9, 940 uh, 950 for a thousand square feet that's 950 a foot okay uh that's ordinance i wouldn't call this queen west i'm just gonna ignore that for now just above the tracks here the triangle uh, that's also below. There you go. 150 Sudbury. That's one of the first buildings of, of Queen West. 8099. Unbelievable. Those things were sold, selling for a lot less at the time, but it's still way less than a thousand a foot. That's a thousand a foot with a price drop. 20,000. This website shows you the price drop in dollar and percentages. That's uh, over a thousand and thirty-six Lisgar. Lisgar is a problematic building, as you know. Okay, eleven. That's Bohemian. So that's eleven sixty-nine. That's a Queen building, the Queen building, and that's just over a thousand a foot for this one plus ten. That's good. And sixty-eight Abel or Abel Street, just behind there, five ten. That's a thousand a foot. Okay. And here you're looking at. Uh, so that's the Carnaby Minoa Micken. I lost some bids there last summer. Five thirty-five for this uh, one bedroom. Seven hundred thousand for seven hundred square feet. Seven sixty-three for two bed, two bath. You know, in, the, in last summer I bid on one of those. Not sure if it's the exact floor plan, but it was about it was about uh, a two bed, two bath, seven hundred. I was actually it was looking straight west. Um, and that went for 712, if I remember correctly, 7125. And now there's 763, and it's uh, maybe six months later. Unbelievable. Uh, you can see here 480, 484 a month. And the taxes are 23, so that's 2680, 700, just under 700 uh, dollars per month for fixed costs. And that's about 700, 720 square feet plus balcony, so less than a dollar a foot for fixed cost. That's really good. That's really good. The price, of course, is very high, over a thousand, because that's what's happening these days. Okay, but that's what it is, and it's got a parking spot, so you know it's not bad. It's still the parking is worth say 50. You're about a thousand a foot net here, so that's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. That's good value. Um, I had other. We can close that. That's the review. That's what I got for you here. I want to move to the next neighborhood. Maybe look at one more, and that's the Bohemian. So Bohemian was, was one of the first ones to open around 2012, maybe. 
2011. That's a really nice unit. That's kind of similar to the model unit. Very, very nice. All in white. Absolute gorge. Uh, one plus one. Harley Quinn West. That's very nice. Condom fees are slightly more here, 548, and the taxes are about the same, slightly less, but just over 700 a month, 750 a month to carry this unit, fixed costs, plus your mortgage, so it's about 3,000 a month to carry this unit, more or less, that's, you know, that's not nothing, that's very smart how they did the uh, glass here, that's really cool, that's good, that's a good unit, all right. Um, I had some other uh, things I saw, so we're going to jump to King West, we're just going to go east now, that's kind of a hidden, Richmond west of Bathurst becomes like a really nice street, and there's an interesting unit that's a 107, so it's a ground floor unit, 676 Richmond, it's really nice, caught my eye, it's kind of a unique property, check it out, well done, well redone, and it's got a little top, floor half floor for the bedroom i believe that's really cool i really like that's kind of an old loft style carved out of the old building there we go coming up here there's the picture loading and you got a little bedroom many many years ago i used to live in lofts and uh, they kind of used to look like this but just not as nice <laughs> yeah Oh, and then it's like a riser. Look at this at the back. There's a riser to the walk-in closet. Okay, it's all good. Here's the bath, and that's the building if you've ever seen it. it I, I saw some renovations outside of it recently, so this building is well taken care of. So that's unit uh, 107 and 676 Richmond, offered at 715. 14 foot ceilings. That's why the bedroom could be raised. Look in here for anything good. 650 for the condo fees, 25 for property tax. Very good. Parking. Yeah, it's got parking too. Okay, not bad. 750. That's actually quite nice, and it probably feels a lot more spacious than you realize in the picture because of that high ceiling. Uh, there's a Colossi King West 20 Stewart, one of the first, I think the second freed building, second after 66 Portland. That's 66 right here. That's 20 Stewart. So just a simple building. There's no real amenities. <clears throat> it's facing the first Thompson in this case. Yeah, so it's facing south. You can see a bit of the CN Tower. That's looking east. That's a nice classic unit. It's a bit older now, this building. It's probably about 10 years old. Nonetheless, it's still nice. Small building, efficient. Uh, let's look at the fees here. So they're asking 7295 for this unit. It doesn't say the size, say six to six, so say it's six six hundred or six fifty, so it's over a thousand a foot, obviously. Just came on the market, count the fees four fifty. It's not bad. Taxes are just over two hundred a month. So about seven hundred a month to carry. You see all these units are more or less in the same. It's got parking too. Okay, so it's a bit of a smaller unit. But because of the location, the dollar per foot slightly higher. Uh, this condos.ca, I had these tabs open so I can just run quickly and show you a few things. So this building, when stuff comes in here, it just goes fast. Uh, that's Blue and Bathurst. So I'm, I'm going downtown-ish now. Annex U of T. Average 957, but it's actually way higher now. And you can see here, there's past listings. Okay, this one didn't go through, but here's... Unit 622, they're, they're listed at 4999, kind of to get people's attention. Got 565, that's 13%, more or less 13% over what they asked, 65,000 over what they asked. Unit 613 was also, uh, this was a studio, this one is one plus one, uh, one bedroom, one bath, no parking, 600 square feet, well over 1,000, maybe just over 1,000, about 1,200. And Unit 711, Probably similar to this one, 612. Got slightly less, okay? Both sold in February, so you can see in three days. So this unit got a bit more. You have to visit it to understand why. Maybe there's more eager buyers, maybe the unit was cleaner. This one's really nice. 
This one here is perfect. So that's a good one. Okay, you can see the building here averages 10.51 a foot now already. So it's coming up and it's, it's definitely more than the uh, area average. Okay. Oh, that's the B Street. So we looked at this one. Just want to see 7-Eleven get a quick comparison. I mean, what else you want to do on a Thursday morning but look at listings? <laughs> there you go. Also really, really nice. Quite similar. You'll have to be in the unit to see that. To see, but they ended up with the 612 518. That's what they sold for. They're asking for 589. Very nice unit. All right, that's cool. Uh, next, I'm going to go downtown, visit the Bond Condos. It's a really interesting building. This thing is averaging 12.02 a foot now. 12.02. That's no joke. Uh, there's one large unit here been on the sale on the market forever it says 45 days ago but it's been uh, relisted a couple times uh, but if you look at the more traditional and there's some rentals there's quite a few more rentals in town these days than they were a year ago which is nice but it doesn't gonna change the price of the condos they're selling they're still gonna sell for whatever they sell whatever the market's willing to pay for them so 21 21st floor you got 10,000 less, that's pretty good. 38th floor, got a few dollars less. 11th floor, got more. 19th floor, got way more. So the smaller units seem to be going for the highest dollar per foot, which we know that already. And the largest unit will go for the lowest dollar per foot, okay, which we also know that already. There's more, there's more. and that, that's only 2020. It's very active here. 1202 a foot it's the 41st most expensive building in downtown and you can see what's the most expensive building in downtown is 12 hazelton and these are all yorkville these are all yorkville obviously yorkville is very expensive uh waterworks is coming in this was selling at 800 bucks a foot two years ago when we had it on vip 800 bucks a foot and now it's averaging 1400 i've seen units there for 1600 so doubled what they started in two years. Now, whomever is bought on paper a unit for 800 is still on construction, only pay 15% of that so far, $120 a foot. But the profit margin is some between six and $800 a foot, so five to eight times more than their deposit. That's not bad. Okay, uh, the well is breaking records here. And that's interesting, it's number 11 most expensive and that's building still under construction. And, uh, and we're still on, on Bloor and then U Condos and we go towards uh, U of T here. And that's Casa, so that's Charles Street, that's closer to U of T still. And we're still in the Bay, you can see here by the addresses if you know the city as well as I do, Bay and Bloor. And the Shangri-La, only 31st, ah, one on the east side. Smart House has very, very tiny units so they can command higher PSF. And it's all Yorkville. Massey Tower is coming in nice. YC Condo is coming in nice. They're all coming in nice. Theater Park. Theater Park was sold for 600 bucks a foot at the time, maybe even less at the sale. And it's doing really well. And there are a lot of options there. You can grab yourself a penthouse or a sub penthouse for 10,000. But you can see. Um, the units under a million bucks sell really, really quickly. That sold for 965 for 600 square feet. That's a million for 900 square feet, a million for 900 square feet. Let's see if I get some more. 620 for a studio here, small one bedroom. 1 1.1, 1.1, 1.3, 1.1, 1.1, 1.5. That's pretty good. That's, that's, a, that's a good building. That's a good average building. Uh, we looked at the bond already. Uh, 101 Peter also back in condos. That's him. Let's bounce it around. This is Yossi. That's searchrealty.co. And this is Toronto condosforsale.com. And now we're at condos.ca. And here, watch this. Let's see here. And you got to be logged in to see these, these numbers. You can, you can do it on Toronto condos. I just like to show you various sites, not just mine, but everything. Uh, 2107 got 641 for this unit. Unit 3010 got 635, just under 
500 square feet. Here's another 500 square feet for 650, 650 thousand dollars for this unit. Let's see what you got for that. That's a decent unit. That's like a typical Toronto condo. Six hundred fifty thousand dollars. No parking. Four eighty-three square feet. Unbelievable. Okay. Thirteen hundred. Thirteen fifty a foot. So people are paying resale there. People are also you can you can get uh, you know the saint or entitled for around these prices. So in a way, they're a good deal because you're getting like a brand new building for the same price, and you're only paying fifty percent. You have to pay for the rest for quite a few more years three or four probably so that's that and you can go on forever studio in Richmond is a great building 1137 larger building more options and more options around it so it so the price slightly lower do you understand that and here you can just go neighborhood by neighborhood and turn them on and off to see what you get so if I want to see the core here and then hit the stats and there's the core, 1042. And then if I want to just compare the core to King West, just turn that off, turn that on. 1012, so 30 bucks more. And she can just keep going like that. Okay, and turn Yorkville on. Yorkville does include Charles Street. 1091. We, we used to say, we like to say that Yorkville is north of blue, but technically it includes Charles Street too. Okay. That's it for today, my friends. Yossi Kaplan here. If you want to get down to the numbers, go to the con, the calculator.ca. If you want to see more listings, go to urbanrealtytoronto.com and then come down here. And all these listings are pre-made. So what's going on at Liberty Village? Just hit that link and it'll show you what's available. Okay? And just remember, those 399s, usually they're looking for bids. Uh, you know, in the 500s, you can always sort by... Latest listing, Let's see what came up. So this just came up. Yeah, that's probably, they're probably looking for offers. I can find out for you, but they're probably looking for offers at a certain date. Most of these units at uh, DNA 3, 1030 King, will sell for a bit more than 399, probably closer to the 500, but you never know. Okay, Yossi Kaplan, thank you very much. Take care.